for so long, for seven years, we've kind of, you know, well, you know, when we get married, when we get married, like today it's it, like we're married today and we get to travel together. We get to do all things that married people do now, you know, and just in doing it together and saying that, you know, I'm his and he's mine, that's the best feeling ever. I was instantly drawn to Bailey. Flirted with her all the time. She really didn't show me any attention. Didn't really give me the time of day, which I hate to say I was not used to. Um, I'd never had a girlfriend. I didn't ever want one. But as soon as I met Bailey, I knew that she was one that I wanted, wanted to date. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together Dane and Bailey in holy matrimony. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully, your life will be full of joy and the home you are establishing will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. I don't think for me it, it was the whole, you know, love at first sight thing, but it was just like one day I woke up and I was like, this is my person. And then you just know, there's no question, he fit in with my family. He's taken my brothers on like they're his brothers and vice versa with his family. GMC, there was always people passing out cards that said, do you need Jesus in your life or do you need God in your life? And Bailey handed me one of them that said, I think you need this after the picture I saw this week. And after that, I was done. I, that's all I had the feelings for. I couldn't do anything but chase her from then on. you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep only to her so long as you both shall live? I didn't really know Dane, like going through school, but um, he was just so funny because he had everybody in the, in the room, you know, laughing because I was calculated. But that's just him. He's very go with the flow. He stresses about things that I don't stress about and I stress about things he doesn't stress about. I'm guilty of not caring what people think and just doing my own self and she's more, more of a caring person for sure and has made me a better person because of it. Bailey, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him? honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep only to him, so long as you both shall live. O eternal God, Send your blessing upon Dane and Bailey, whom we bless in your name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together. Look graciously upon them, that they may love, honor, and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience and wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace.